so um it is Saturday April 5th yeah Saturday April 5th it's like 11 o'clock at night <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just I meant to edit our day in the life from yesterday to put up today but it's not gonna happen because it's 11 o'clock and I just finally got all the kids situated and settled down um, and Kevin just got, he's still working on some work, so I have a feeling he'll be up late tonight. Um, I just got the baby, oh, sorry, this tank top's driving me crazy, it's new. Um, I just got the baby fed and back to sleep, and, um, I'm gonna lay here on the couch and go to sleep too, I think, because it's been a long day. Um, we had a doctor's appointment um, Thursday evening, um, for a medical condition, um, that my husband has, and, um, the prognosis is surprisingly better than we were thinking, so that was a humongous weight lifted off our plates, um, and my husband just this week started his own business, so that was, we're still in the swing of figuring things out, um, the last couple of nights he's worked till seven or so, seven or eight before he got home from work, and then it was like ten o'clock before we've eaten, nine thirty, ten o'clock before we've eaten the last couple of nights, um, and the kids are going to bed about that, are crashing about that time, they're having a hard time going to sleep because daddy's, daddy's not home, and they're like, what the heck's going on, our schedule's changing and all this, so, it's just, um, it's just been a crazy week, um, you know, it's like eleven o'clock and Kevin's still in there working, so that's kind of, I mean, he has a lot of business stuff to set up. So once he, once we get through this initial startup phase, things will be a lot better. But, I mean, it's difficult in the meantime. Um, and we've been dealing with um, bad behavior from our five-year-old lately. And so um, we're trying to work that through, and that's been an issue and a half. Um, our pediatrician's advice on behavior was... Um, ignore it. And when we told her ignoring it was not cutting it and that was not doing the issue, um, her advice was to have him tested for, I don't know, some behavioral disorder. And we're like, no, it's not. He's just, he just is a very spirited little guy. And he just, he's so inquisitive about the world and everything. And you know, it's just, you know, we don't have, we don't exactly have the yard space for them to be running out and then the weather has not been great as of late. So, um, I think we had like two days where the weather was nice and I was not going to take the kids out to the park or anything because there had been, um, several robberies just right around where we live. Like there had been, um, the, one of the apartment complexes just a footpath away basically um, had um, two armed gunmen rob them, several people who lived there. So I didn't feel comfortable taking the kids out knowing that. Um, since since then they've been caught, but we haven't had exactly the best weather in the world. So I know that the boys are tired of being cooped up. Um, we had planned on going to baby time at the library, and then um, the way our library did it is so stupid. It's so stupid. So, in order to do baby time, it's, um, that's 12 months and under. So that would be what Caitlin would do. Toddler time is one to two years. So that would be what Aunt Patrick does. Um, and then they have a preschool, which is like four to six. They don't cross the line. So, like, this baby time is only for 12 months and under. So I'm like, okay, well, what do I do with my other two kids? I mean, I can't, this is during the day, I can't leave them at home to take the baby to the library, and the same for toddler time and preschool time. They don't, I mean, I'm just like, that just seems really ridiculous. Um, for parents with more than one child, what are they supposed to do? I mean, it's not, I mean, there, it's all during business hours, like when uh, the other spouse would be working anyway, so, I'm, or if you're a single mom, I mean, what do you do, so... Um, they have family story time once a week. Um, it's at 6.30 in the evening, which wouldn't be so bad. Sorry, 
that my arm's killing me. Wouldn't be so bad, except Kevin's working at that time, so. <sighs> we shall see. Um, I think the family story time's all year long, so if that's the case, then maybe this fall we'll be able to do it, but right now we're just kind of, we're just chilling. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been a busy couple of days, and Katie went through a little bit of teething the other day, and that was so hard. Um, I am desperately... I'm, I'm not desperately. I'm just really conflicted about what to do with her right now anyways. Um, she's about five months and one to two weeks old. Uh, she's born October 31st. So she's she'll be six months at the end of the month. And I'm conflicted about starting solids. Um, every once in a while she has like a really terrible night. And I don't know if it's she's teething or she just seems like she can't get enough nursing and I feel bad because I'm like oh poor baby you're not getting enough milk maybe you should start you on solids and then I don't really want to start on solids um, and I'm just like oh, I don't know what to do and um, my husband and I are going out on a date um, for his birthday at the end of the month and uh, my mother-in-law will be watching the baby and this is the first time we're going to leave her alone um, I've never left the boys alone until they were almost a year so I'm like oh I don't really want to leave her because then I have to pump and make sure that I have plenty of milk for her or I have to start her on solids so that my mother-in-law has something to feed her while we're gone and it just is crazy but so I'm like well I could start her on solids and then I wouldn't have to worry whether she had enough milk or not I mean I have seven seven six ounce bags so I have plenty of milk for a day, but, you know, I'm just conflicted. Like, part of me wants to start around solids, because I remember how fun that was with Patrick, and then the other part of me is like, she's exclusively nourished, and she's the longest baby that I've ever breastfed this long, and so I don't want to ruin that, um, so I just, I don't know. I mean, it, if she didn't have those periods where she was really fussy and upset, Um, I wouldn't even consider starting her on solids, but she does have that time where she's not happy, and I, and I always have that thought in the back of my mind, is she getting enough milk? So, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I have, I clearly have till the end of the month or so to even make a decision. It's not anything that has to be decided at any point, so. So, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Um, I'd like to wait until, um the 30th at the earliest um but but we'll see I mean there's still time that I could change my mind and go ahead and give her solids here in a week she's not she's starting to exhibit a lot of the signs so I know it won't be too terribly long before she's ready so I don't know we'll just have to wait and see but uh, this log's getting a little bit longer than I was hoping and anyways I um Yes, I'm scatterbrained. Like I said, it's like 11. It's really late. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, My plan for tomorrow is to hopefully edit that day in the life. And I also have a tutorial video that I filmed that I'm hoping to get edited and up here soon. So um, I think I figured out the problem with my camera. So if that's the case, then I can um, stop, start filming more interesting things besides just the vlog. So anyways, have a great night and I will see you tomorrow for Veda's A6.